Basha, I've been looking everywhere for you. Please explain something to me. There are so many interesting insects in the world, and everyone only talks about bees. How come? Hi, Kala. Would you like a raspberry? <gasps> sure. Um... You see, mm, I thought it was about honey because sweet, everyone likes it. Mm, but to make so much noise about honey, pff. tea? Oh, sure. Ah, so delicious. You see, if it wasn't for bees, we wouldn't have honey most of our favorite fruits and vegetables, and even tea. What do you mean? Some people think that the bee that makes honey, the honey bee, is the only type of bee. But there are thousands of different species in the world. They are different in their look and the way they live. The way they live, the bee lives in this uh, hive. Not only, and not always. Long, long time ago, before humans learned the art of beekeeping, bees lived in woodland hollows and took care of themselves. Many wild species even now build their nest in the ground or in old hollow trunks. In the old hollow trunks? Oh dear. When humans found honey in the hollows of the forest, they began to take it from the bees. Later on, however, they decided to take care of the bees, and in the tree trunks they made new comfortable homes where bee families moved in. Such places are called hives. And the people who take care of the bees are the beekeepers. So they used to go to the woods for honey? Yes, but not everyone could take honey from the beehives. In the old days, the forests were huge and owned by royalty and only beekeepers that got special permission from the king were allowed to take care of bees. It was a highly respected profession. Today's beekeepers also deserve respect. But beekeepers graze bees in their hives. Yes, but they don't graze them, they breed them. They not only take care of their homes, which we call hives, but also feed the bees and provide them with health care. And in apiarias full of colorful hives live honey bees. I know, I know, honey bees because they make honey. Exactly, and all bees, honey and non-honey ones and many other insects have one unique and very special mission. Do you know what it is? Special mission? Hmm. Please don't tell me they are saving world. You got it. The most important job for bees is to pollinate plants. Without pollination, plants wouldn't be able to turn flowers into a fruits and vegetables and we wouldn't get many of our favorite snacks. Like delicious raspberries. <laughs> and the whole planet Earth would be in a lot of trouble. This is why pollination is so important, and that's why a whole group of pollinating insects are called pollinators. <gasps> Serious job. And how do they do it? The fact that the bee has four is a great wisdom of nature, because it makes it the most useful of all insects. The bee is almost entirely covered with hairs, including the eyes. When a bee sits on a flower, the pollen attaches itself to its hairs. And when it flies up and visits the other flowers, it accidentally loses the attached pollen on the way, which leads to the pollination of many different plants. That's why we can enjoy the taste of our favorite fruits and vegetables. This is really super mission. <laughs> and did you know that even your dress is the hard work of bees? How come? Well, our clothes are most often made of cotton. Cotton is a plant that needs pollination, so... So big thanks to pollinators! 
Pollinators are cool. Oh, yes. And Honeybee deserves to be called a super bee. No way. Honeybees give us not only honey, but also pollen, bee bread, propolis, royal jelly, rich in substances very important to our health. So they know medicine too? No <laughs> kidding. Yes, the alternative medicine that uses bee products is called apitherapy. Have you heard of beeswax? When you feel under the weather and you light a candle made of real beeswax, you will immediately feel better. Such a little bee, so many talents! Incredible! Apitherapy is also special inhalation houses where you can sit and talk or read your favorite book while inhaling all the goodness that comes out of the inside of the hive. Oh, now I understand why everyone around me writes and talks so much about the bees and why they care about them. I guess I should too. In that case, I consider the Appreciate the Bees mission complete. What do you say we watch a movie together? It's really good. <laughs> <laughs> Basia, let's take some goodies with us to snack on. Sure. As long as the bees are doing well, we certainly won't run out of our favorite snacks. 